Hello Cancerians, welcome back to the channel. This is for May 31st to June 4th, 2021, or whenever you see the video. You don't even have to be uh, of the sign Cancer to have this relate to you or resonate with you, okay? Maybe the title caught your eye. So let's see what Cancer has for this week. I think it's called Cancerians. Anyways, I've been kind of slow and taking my time on getting these videos out as well because I've come to realize that it depletes me heavily and then I push myself and I overdo it and then I have to rest for like three or four days. Like it's a process now. So I'm trying to space them out. I'll do better next time on the next week's uh, videos. I'm going to start implementing those at the end of the week for next week. Ooh, trust in higher forces, shaman. Trust that there is a higher force. Believe that. Owls may be a significance to somebody. Also, you may be finding feathers. You're seeing feather emojis. Pictures with feathers. Bumper stickers. Move in a new direction. Okay. What else do we have here for cancer? Could be somebody moving towards you. Enjoy growth and reap rewards. What is it? Reap what you sow? Sow what you reap? I forget what the what that is what the saying is. I forget it. What else do we have for cancer? It's going to take me a minute to start reading and get in the groove here. Thank you. Stay rooted and grounded. Some of you may be feeling a little lightheaded or dizzy off and on. Um, your crown chakra and third eye are opening, I feel. And go, being outside, especially walking barefoot on Mother Earth, is very grounding for you. And also uh, meditating on the root chakra, which is at the base of your spine, and the color is red for that. So eating red fruits and vegetables and wearing the color red would also help. Also just setting the intention that you're grounding yourself. some weird experiences lately seeing sparkles or things out of the corner of your eye you're not going crazy I promise that's your spirit team also number synchronicities like 11 11 1 1 1 13 13 4 5 6 those are also signs from your spirit team when you see these signs, if you can think about it, think of your thoughts, feelings, and emotions when you see the sign. And also Google 333 on the timer right there. <laughs> also Google the spiritual meaning behind the number as well. What do we have for Cancer for this week out of this deck? The Garden and the Gate. It's her, I almost feel like you're wishing, you know, you're wishing to go out there, like... It's kind of a yearning for, and maybe maybe she doesn't even realize that she has the key on her neck and that key goes to that garden gate right in front of her. Or maybe you're thinking that the grass is greener on the other side. But moving in a new direction, moving in a clear direction. Okay. Moving towards community, maybe? Or wanting and needing a sense of community around you wanting your friends and family members to be closer all tied up feeling like you can't move and you can't go anywhere like you must probably feel like it's really hard to move in a new direction you think you can't you think you can't move in a new direction and you feel like you're locked. 
inside of a fence and you have no feeling or sense of community around you. Yin Yang, the feminine and masculine energies at bay right now. Number 22, that's a master number. I feel almost... Yeah, fem we all have feminine and masculine energy in us, okay? And we've all been male and female in previous lives as well. But you need to trust in the higher forces. Trust in your higher power. If you need to, ask them for guidance and help and answers. Because you have the ability to unlock yourself and be free and move towards what you want to move towards. This, all tied up, this is of your own doing. This is all in your head, I feel. Like, it's not... The only person who can fix it is you. A yearning for a relationship, potentially. Let's go with the Moonology deck. <clears throat> What else do we have here? Communication is key. Communication with your higher your higher forces is key at this time, okay? You have to remember that we as humans, we have free will. Therefore, we have to ask for help from our spiritual source, okay? From your God, your Jesus, your angels. See what else we have for cancer. A time for healing. So you're probably, a lot of things are probably going through your mind right now. And you're feeling like you're all tied up and you can't really move or go anywhere. But um, you're releasing. You're releasing things. Your thought processes and stuff. If there's something, a certain situation that keeps coming and surfacing and you push it back down and you're like, no, I don't want to deal with you right now. It's going to come back up. It's going to keep coming back up until you acknowledge it and you process it and you release it, okay? Otherwise, it's just going to keep resurfacing. And that's going to be what breaks you out of that feeling bound. And you're going to be able to get out of that gate and move towards and move in a new direction the direction that you want to go the way you want to live your life and what you want to strive for in your futures what is your heart desire seeing the big bigger picture maybe seeing things from a different perspective as well okay having an open mind Okay, so this is telling me all these three cards are in the row, right? And this is telling me that you will enjoy, you will enjoy and reap rewards once you release yourself from these bindings, okay? When you see the bigger picture, you will be able to release yourself from what it is you need to release yourself from. Or what, maybe there's a negative thinking pattern that needs to be dealt with. Something you've been conditioned with, a certain way or form you've been taught how to think on things and how to see things. But we all have different perspectives, right? It's time to take action for it. It's time to take action and wanting good and better for yourself. The conclusions are within reach, okay? I feel like it's a cycle. You're just, you're going through this cycle. And it's a cycle, excuse me, that you've gone through many times before. 
You're just realizing the potency of it now. You're just realizing that it's a cycle. Cycle. <clears throat> there are lots of guided free meditations on YouTube to balance the yin yang energy also. Also, you might be seeing the yin yang sign a lot in places. What else do we have for cancer? <clears throat> Excuse me. What else do we have for cancer? way far away from me sorry clear the past and heal the present rejuvenating rain yeah you're releasing releasing things releasing the past past situations old beliefs and uh, negative thinking patterns <clears throat> I feel like there's a male in your life that has been a big part of these thinking patterns and ways of thinking. <clears throat> the best thing right now is to try to keep your mind clear and be outside quite a bit. Being in nature will help you stay rooted and grounded. Take the risk and venture forward. You're about to embark on a great adventure. You have no idea the good things that are coming towards you. Purification activates vibrant life force. Okay. And here the rejuvenating rain. <clears throat> the water, the rain. Um, maybe you're feeling like <clears throat> you're wanting to cry and you're pushing it down. Maybe that's an emotion that keeps coming up and and you don't want to because you've been taught that it's not okay to do so. Only babies do that, right? Wrong. It's okay because this is needed to release. You need to release this. It needs to come out, okay? Because you, you need to cleanse. Your higher self needs to cleanse and let you be rejuvenated, okay? So your soul can, you know be more open to learning the lessons you came here to learn trust in your higher self trust in the higher forces and trust in your higher self okay it's all happening for you not to you because it's a form of healing it's a time of healing for you okay cancer and maybe this isn't, maybe you've got, some of you guys have already gone through this. But, like I said, you've got good things coming towards you. You're going to go through those gates of triumph because success expands in your life. Heh, <laughs> success. I said that funny, didn't I? Anything else here for cancer? Those try to come out. Yes! Trust in the higher sources. Trust in your angel team. You are protected by the angels. You are cherished by the angels. You are super, super, super loved. And through gratitude, joy expands. So meaning to be grateful for what you have and what you've been fought through and how far you've come in your life. Be proud of yourself and be grateful for it, okay? Be grateful for your journey thus far. I feel like there's one more in here. Okay, I guess that was it trust that there's a divine play in cancer okay a lot of these cards have paths on them right choose a new direction and whatever direction you choose to take your life see all the paths on here whatever direction you choose to take your life towards will be the right path for you now I'm drawn to pull from the life purpose deck though so let's pull some cards from life purpose I like to kind of keep these to where I can see them. Sometimes other cards will come out meaning the same thing. 
What do we have here for life purpose for Cancer? I'm going to just Cancer get them now from the life purpose deck, please. Holy cow. I can't believe it's almost 8 o'clock already. Card for Cancer, please. Counseling, you heal with kind words, wise advice, and an empathetic ear. And maybe, maybe some of you guys are thinking about seeking out a counselor as well. Or wishing you had somebody that you could just talk to. And some of you are like a form of counselor for people. Give good advice. Time to decide. Make a decision based on your heart's truest desires. What do you want for your future? It's exactly what I said earlier, basically. Time to decide for it, okay? Anything else for cancer? Nothing else. Studying. Some of you guys may be wanting to study. Reading, research, and education help you gain confidence and clarity about your career. There's another owl on that card. Alright, let's see what this angel deck has. What do we have for Cancer Angels, please? What do we have for Cancer this week for these? Ask for help from others. No need to worry. There's no need to worry. You got time. Nothing but time, right? Nothing else there. Meditation brings answers. Meditation could be very beneficial to you at this time. But there's no need to worry, okay? And don't be scared in asking help from others, okay? It's okay to ask for help. Especially with your... Angel team. Ask your angels for guidance and help if you need to, okay? Because they're there, ready and waiting. Very much so. <clears throat> if you don't feel comfortable doing that, then bow your head and pray. What other angel messages do we have for cancer, please? Take action. You're in touch with your truth in this situation and you need to trust your gut and lovingly assert yourself. Yes, trust your gut. Trust your intuition. Trust that inner knowing, okay? When you know what's right and you know what's wrong. Take action towards whatever it is you're wanting to go towards. Now is the time. Time out. You've been so busy taking care of everyone else's needs, but now it's time to stop and take care of yourself. Maybe this is something you're worrying about somebody and worrying what would happen if you stopped doing something for them or you feel like you just can't stop. This is not true, okay? It's time to think about you and do you and live your life. What do you want for yourself in your future? Where do you see yourself in five years, ten years? <clears throat> do we have anything else for cancer here? One more card. Have faith and hope because there is something positive and new on the horizon that you can't yet see. Success expands in your life. You got great things coming to you. Uh, I really feel that wholeheartedly for you guys. Great things coming, Cancerians, okay? Keep your chin up and have faith. Trust. Trust in your inner knowing. Trust in your divine spiritual dream. Trust your intuition and your gut instincts and your gut feeling, okay? I'm going to close this out with some advice from Spirit. What do we have for Cancer here? <clears throat> Creativity. 
community maybe you guys are thinking about painting or drawing or doing something creative or an instrument or any kind of hobby that you used to do pick it back up <coughs> excuse me man I had an allergy pill today too all right oh yeah 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 what do you want in your future get your priorities straight when you know what's important saying no gets much easier saying no saying no and start taking care of your own needs put yourself as the priority now okay that's what needs to happen here cancer creativity express your creativity delight in the mystery of your inner muse dance step into the light share your gifts and talents with the world maybe there's something that you've been wanting to do I mean yeah get that instrument and start playing it maybe you have a special knack for it already <clears throat> or pick it back up or sit back down at that piano that you used to play whenever you were a kid connection connect with someone special a loved one is a gift to treasure connecting with distant loved distant relatives I feel on that one maybe someone you haven't spoken to in a while tenderness speak gently to yourself cherish the child within you could go be going through some inner child healing as well right now <clears throat> dreams think big there are unseen forces ready to support your dreams that's your trust in a higher source okay and <clears throat> You got good things coming. I'm a broken record. Nature, take a walk. Let the beauty of nature feed your soul. That's what I said earlier about getting grounded and stuff, right? Being out in nature, being around plants, animals too. Okay, Cancer, as usual, it is greatly appreciated if you liked and subscribed. If you want to, hit the notification bell so you'll be notified whenever I release more content. Until next time, love and light.